Hi neighbors, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me, and welcome back to Pretty Hippie Christmas. Editing Hannah here, quick note, this vlog was filmed on Christmas Eve. For some reason, I thought I was gonna be able to publish it on the same day. Um, obviously not. So <laughs> just keep that in mind with the timeline of what you're watching. Also, I forgot to say, if you like this video, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel because it's fun here. So thank you so much, enjoy the video. And happy Christmas Eve. Um, I just wanted to really quickly, I got myself a little Black Friday uh, <laughs> shipment in yesterday. So I wanted to show you one of the things that I got. This might have been a little bit after Black Friday as well, actually. But Midas Cosmetics was having a sale on their quads, the coffee collection, where you could get all three of them for $18, I think. Yeah, $6 each. And because I've heard so much good about them, I wanted to try them. And this one is the Macchiato Quad I will be trying today. This is my first time using any Midas Cosmetics. Here is the inside. Totally perfect colors for me. Honestly, this quad is the one that I wanted. I got the others because I just wanted to try them out. I'm gonna do the quickest little swatch. And then really, this is a side story because this video is actually about something else. This is the shade Short. This is the shade Barista, both matte. This is the shade Long, also matte. And this is Crema, a nice shimmer. My perfect ideal color story. This is my, I'm so excited to have this quad. <laughs> I'm gonna put short in the crease. So today is Christmas Eve, and I think I will be able to post this today. Ooh, oh my God, my eyes are gonna pop like crazy. My boyfriend, who I love with all of my heart and who is amazing and delightful. A couple of days ago, he was asking me like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, well, the, li the list that I sent you. And he was like, well, but like something else. I told him about a makeup palette from Makeup Revolution that I had been wanting. But then I realized there was another eyeshadow palette that I'm pretty sure I'm getting that has very similar colors. I was like, you know what? Rather than get me this second palette that's like basically the same, why don't you go to Ulta and just like buy me an eyeshadow palette, any eyeshadow palette that you think would look good on me. Well, this would be a really like cute, like more personal thing if he chooses it rather than me just saying, this is what I want, go get it for me. I don't love telling people what to get me for gifts, you know, I feel like gifts are better when they have a little bit of personalization from the giver rather than me just saying, like, here's my shopping list. Can you go pick up my stuff that I want? You know, I'm on a time crunch right now. So just this might not look perfect, but I'm loving this mustard shade. Very soft, creamy matte, very blendable, buildable, all the goods. This is not going to be the most revolutionary makeup look, but I'm really just trying out the products. Barista outer corner. We talked about it on the 22nd, yesterday was the 23rd, and he came home bearing gifts. Look, as soon as I put that color there, my eye just like pops. And then our plan was to have our own little Christmas this morning, which is Christmas Eve, um, because we're going to see my family spending Christmas morning with them, and then leaving so that through the afternoon to the evening, we'll be hanging out with Elle's family. We did our little Christmas this morning, and the palette he had gotten me was an influencer collab with Too Faced. So he doesn't watch a ton of my videos, and I don't think that I've talked about this too much, even if he has, because like, honestly, he loves me, he supports me, but the content is not really his jam. <laughs> so he didn't really know that Too Faced was kind of like on my no thank you, no buy list as a company. The reason for that is because they have been very negative toward Nikki Tutorials in a way that they have been very unapologetic for and just kind of like, well, that's just life. And I really don't like that. Starting with the way that they absolutely sold her short when they did the big uh, collab business deal with her a few years ago, it ended up being very unfair for her. And you know, that was a, a business thing. And I get that when you're running a business, it's better for you as a business to not pay as much. So business people gonna business people. So there's an argument to be made there for 
well, Nikki needed to to fight for herself and know her worth and all that stuff and, and she's learned from it and whatever. The thing that's inexcusable to me is, um, I'm gonna put the shade long on my lid, is the way that Jared Blandino's sister talked about Nikki when she came out as being transgender. Ooh, this is soft. This is a soft, creamy, pigmented matte. Oh my God. Stopped me in my tracks. I'm sorry. It's clear that that like Too Faced has some kind of beef with Nikki, but the way that she talked about her was just unprofessional, but also just generally morally wrong. If you want to find out more about that, there are plenty of drama channel videos out there. But basically, she was being transphobic as heck, and I didn't want to support a company that is associated with her. So anyway, I explained all that to my boyfriend and I'm explaining it to you now, just in case you are wondering why I'm not a fan of Too Faced. Once he heard the story of why I don't really like Too Faced, he was like, oh my God, I can't believe that I supported that company with my money. And I was like, it's okay, baby, we can just do an exchange. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do an exchange. We're gonna do a slightly more guided version of what I had originally thought with him buying something for me that I don't have any input on, but that he just likes and thinks would be a good palette for me. Yesterday when he picked up the Too Faced palette, he was not feeling very good. He had a migraine. So he literally just like went in and got the first thing he could get that he thought was pretty. So now he feels better. He doesn't feel sick and like he needs to run home as fast as possible so he doesn't throw up at the Ulta, um, which was on his mind because <laughs> he had a migraine. And we can just have a little more relaxed look at the makeup section. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm thoroughly enjoying these mattes. I'm going to really quickly angled clean paddle brush. I'm gonna take this shimmer crema and use it as a nice transition shade here have not done this in a hot minute. Two mattes with a shimmer transition. Okay, do the same over here. Uh, okay. This look didn't turn out perfect, but I really like this quad. I cannot wait to play with it when I actually have more time. This is my first impression look macchiato palette. A plus, I like it. Uh, to Ulta, here we go. My perfectionism was going crazy, so I changed to a sweater that more closely matches my eyeshadow my color. <laughs> I feel better this way. When we got into Ulta, I showed him the drugstore section, which I had originally intended him to find when he went shopping on his own. When we walked past the Milani section, he was immediately drawn to one of the gilded palettes, specifically the gilded jewels palette, and he picked that up for me. Are you sure you want me to pick this up? Because the Milani palette was on sale for just $10 and he had spent $26 on the Too Faced palette, we looked around for something else to pair with it. He was shopping very thoughtfully. I feel like somebody's taking me out to buy my first tampon. I let him lead the way through the aisles and pick up whatever he thought would be nice for me. We ended up in the elf section and he picked up a smaller palette pretty soon. That one's a nice little neutral palette. That one is more similar to the one that you did get me. Well, I can get both because they're each 10 bucks. You got the bargains, baby. That's what I would get if I were me, which I am. Here, baby, can I just show you some stuff? Yeah. I took a few minutes and showed my boyfriend around the drugstore section of our Ulta, just talking to him about the different brands that were there. Those were the brands that I knew best and that I felt like I could talk about with him. I just wanted to show him a little bit of what I had learned over the past year and a half of paying attention to YouTube makeup, partly just to show him some of the options that were available to him while we were shopping but mostly just to show him in person some of the things that I had talked about on my channel and tell him more about 
this hobby of mine that has really become a love and a passion for me. That's all. Those are the the standout. A wide world of brands. Yeah, <laughs> drugstore brands. That was like a Ulta employee yourself. Oh, the only thing I didn't mention. This is Morphe. Morphe is bad. We went up to the register to make our exchange. Yeah, this is pretty. These colors are gonna look great on me. As we checked out, we realized that we were actually significantly under budget. The e.l.f. palette that had been about $10 must have been on a half off sale because we ended up with a $10 gift card credit at the end of everything. Merry Christmas to me. I think he did a great job choosing out the eyeshadow palettes that he got me in replacement for the Too Faced one. This e.l.f. palette is basically the same color story as the Marial palette. So I still get the colors, but I get them not from Too Faced and <laughs> in a formula that I am familiar with. So I'm happy to have these colors. And then Milani, I have not tried any Milani eyeshadow palettes before, but I have heard good things about the Milani formula. And as soon as we went over to this section, we were both kind of drawn in by this. So I think this is gonna be really cool to play with. This is a really good palette to kind of like pair with this one too. I'm very happy. Merry Christmas to me with love from Elle and with grievance to Too Faced uh, with anti-Too Faced sentiment. Um, I don't know, just like, I'm glad that we're not supporting Too Faced. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. It's just a quick little excursion that we did before we did all of our Christmas stuff. And I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to share it with you guys. Have a wonderful Christmas. I have a really fun Christmas video planned, so please watch it. It's gonna be short, sweet, and super fun, super special. So I hope you watch it. Thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> I really appreciate you and your time. Thank you to my 1,005 subscribers as of today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here in the neighborhood. So much love. Merry Christmas. Happy, pretty, happy Christmas. I don't know. Bye.